Hello, welcome to another video about audio in uh, P5.js. Uh, if you've watched any of these other videos, you'll know that audio is not really a thing that I know that much about, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to look at the reference and examples and try to make something. The thing that I'm going to look at and make in this video is how can I have a web page listen to my voice and respond to my voice. Now that I just sort of misled you there. Um, that, that could mean a lot of different things. And at some point we might look at, I might, I'd love to make a video that tries to listen to the words that I'm speaking and respond to those words. But um, really all I'm gonna do in this video is start with the basic simplest idea, which is the microphone of the computer listens to the volume of whatever sound is it's hearing and visualizes some results based on that volume. So how do, how do, what do we need for this? Um, uh, we need the P5 sound library. Um, so I'm gonna click on this here. Um, you can see this is the reference page for the P5 sound library. In particular, I wanna use this object called P5 audio in. Here's something really important that I should just state before I even get into this. I am using this web browser called Chrome um, and Chrome and you know, possibly other web browsers, have a security restriction where you cannot access the microphone or the camera of a computer, first of all, without the user giving you permission. So we're gonna see this, we might see a little pop-up saying, oh, can I have permission for the microphone? But beyond that, the page has to be hosted through HTTPS. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, let's go to some website. I don't know, google.com. You can see here it says, HTTPS and a little like lock because it's locked, it's secure. So uh, when a website is served through HTTPS, there is additional security and encryption involved. If a website is not served through HTTPS, Google won't even not serve through HTTPS. Let's try to find, uh, I don't know, yahoo.com. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, let's, let's go to uh, uh, shiftman.net. There, you can see here, um, this website is not served through HTTPS, and in which case the sketch that I'm going to make, if you publish it to the web, it's gotta be published through HTTPS, which sort of depends on where are you hosting it and how are you doing it and that sort of thing. Okay, now the exception to that is when I run my examples, I'm running a local web server on the computer just so I can write my code and look at it quickly. Chrome allows you to do any of this stuff with local host. So while you're testing and debugging, it'll, it will work. We're gonna find out if it works, at least. Okay, let's, um, so let's go back to the reference page and let's look at the pieces that we need. So I need to create, I wanna create a variable. I'm gonna create a variable called var mic. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my code, which is right here, and I'm gonna create a variable uh, called mic for microphone. And I'm gonna say mic equals new p5 audio in. So this is making an audio in object. A lot of objects that you can create with a P5 library like p5dom.js or p5sound.js have the P5 prefix. It's kind of like a namespacing thing. This is not an audio in object, it's a P5 audio in object. And then for, to, for it to start listening, I've got to say mic.start. So let's just uh, run this in the browser. Right, look at this. Localhost 8000 wants to use your microphone. This means, by the way, if I'm gonna give permission, I've really gotta protect myself. So, I highly recommend doing this before you click allow. Now I'm gonna click allow, and uh, you can see some, I get some messages here. So it should listening, and I'm seeing this like red record uh, button there in the top corner. So things are working. Good stuff, right? Okay, so now it's listening. How do I get access to it? Well, uh, I need to call a function on the mic object to say, hey, could you give me the current something or other right now? And I, oh, what I want to listen to is just the volume. So I'm going to say var volume equals mic. And I think the function is called get level. It might be called get volume. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> let's just write it and see what happens. And then let's say console.log volume. So I'm going to run this again. And it's like, look at that. These numbers. Now, here we go. Did you think that learning coding would be really rough? <clears throat> Can you see, you, I think it's saying that I can't say <laughs> inside these numbers. That's definitely saying that. Um, so you can see that the volume, as I speak, the volume gets a little higher. So one thing we can glean, glean from this is that we're getting tiny little numbers. And I'm pretty sure the range that we're getting is a number between zero and one. One being a very loud sound. Uh, here, the microphone's over here, by the way. So uh, my microphone's here, so I can go. 
We can, maybe we saw some big numbers go by there. So what I probably want to do instantly, I don't think I need this anymore, is um, I could do something like, let's draw an ellipse. Let's set a background. Let's create a canvas. Uh, let's draw an ellipse in the center, and let's give it size, volume, times 200. Volume times 200, and we can run this again. And here we go. So now, as I speak, the circle grow oh, It really messed up my hair wearing that <laughs> foil thing. Now, as I speak, you can see the circle growing and shrinking. Um, and you know, I, I guess I said I was going to try to make it like a little mouth talking. So one thing I could do is I could give it a fixed width. And now I could just sort of talk and I'm puppeteering the thing running in the browser. And in a way, this is kind of all I want to show you in this video. I mean, you could think of some things you might do, like what if I use Lerp, go find my Lerp video and smooth it so the, the mouth kind of like opens and closes more smoothly, what, I, if that's the kind of response you want. Um, uh, uh, you know, what other types of interactions and responses could you imagine doing based on a person speaking? Could I play a game? Like uh, the la as I, you know, Pong, so when I speak, I think somebody at ITP made this project actually, where uh, you would shout into your phone. I'm gonna have to look it up and maybe link to it in this video. So what if I were to speak and as I speak, the, um, one of the paddles moves up the louder I am or moves down. So there's all sorts of kind of ways you might apply this particular uh, analysis um, and visualize it. <coughs> so um, in the next video, I'm gonna move from reading the volume of my speaking voice or whatever is going into the microphone and actually read the amplitude of an mp3 file while it's playing. And, we'll, and at some point I'll also look at uh, frequency analysis with that as well. Okay, see you in the next video perhaps.